Hi guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. Today I thought I would share with you how I make my chicken wings. Um, nobody really requested this. I just thought about it. I was getting ready to make us some chicken wings for dinner. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. How I like to do it. I've done it several different ways in the past. But I kind of watched a few videos on YouTube. And kind of tweaked a few things here and there with mine. And I got them where I absolutely love how they come out. So I thought I'd share it with you. So first of all. If you've seen my grocery haul, I got this big pack of chicken wings that I buy. You can, of course, buy them in bags. You can buy them in a pack or whatever. But in my grocery haul, I bought a big pack of wings. Just because they are bigger, more meatier most of the time when you buy them like out of the meat section. Where they package them up instead of buying them in the bags. I do pay more for them. I paid about $11.00. Um, a little bit over $11 for these, but they are a nice size wing. Because some of the bag wings that I buy, they're just not very meaty. And see, these are pretty good size wings. I do have to cut them up myself. And um, you just get a lot more meat on them. They're, they're kind of like a small chicken leg on my. So anyway, I got all my chicken cut up. And I'm actually going to pour them all in this bowl here. Just so I can season them up a little bit. Okay, my ingredients for just the raw chicken before I actually fry it up is paprika. And just salt and pepper. That's all I do to the chicken wings before I fry them up. And then I just kind of go in and just eyeball it. Because chicken tastes so much better when it is salted. Any kind of meat does. Throw on, just eyeball it with some salt and pepper. Looks like a lot, but once you mix it all up, it really isn't. Then I'm just going to dash on some paprika here. This gives it a smoky flavor. And it's good if you can to do this way ahead of time and let them set in the fridge. But because I just bought these, I'm going to uh, go ahead and fix them today. So, and then I'll just kind of stir them around. Let that paprika get mixed all over. chicken wings. I usually prefer to use tongs just so I don't have to touch the chicken that much. And then I just kind of go down in there and work, work the ones that were on the bottom up. That way they can get some of the paprika on them. Rub them like that, whatever. I do usually fry mine you can bake them so you don't have to use the grease but we just like ours fried they're good either way it's just quicker they don't take as long if you're not in a hurry you can bake them but for today i'm going to fry them up in some grease okay. So now we got them nice and coated up. They're all got some paprika and salt and pepper on them. You could put a little dash of garlic on them if you want, whatever you like. Alrighty, I'm getting my pot here ready for some grease. Just gonna pour in some oil here. That's just a piece of a bottle I had left. This is a good size. This is about a medium size. If you can use a large pot, that would be great. You don't want to risk it running over. Boiling over, that wouldn't be good. Whoa! <laughs> that come out fast. Anyway, I'm just filling up my pan. To about right there. 
I'll never go all the way to the top because you got to leave room for that stuff to cook up. So now all I got to do is let this get heated up and we'll start cooking our hot wings. I don't normally cook all my wings at one time, but it's because I'm not using my bigger pot. But if I was using my big pot, I probably could cook them all at once. When I'm going to let this get nice and hot and I'll be back to drop in the wings. Okay guys, I am dropping in my wings, not all of them, about half of them, can't let my grease get too high, just turn it down a little bit, like on the medium high, so it'll stay boiling but not too hot. There it goes, grease is calming down. Okay, getting my wings out now, my first batch. See how pretty and brown them are? That paprika makes them cook up nice and brown. I like them a little crispy on the outside. And nice on the inside. And I just put them on my little sheet. Let them drain till I get ready to put them in my sauce. I got this at the thrift store earlier. Really nice strainer spoon. For 50 cents. Alright, now I'm going to put in some more wings. Get them cooking. Okay guys, I have started making my hot sauce here for my wings. My wings are still cooking over there. I melted some blue bonnet. Let me show you. This is the blue bonnet that I use. Just regular blue bonnet. So I melted it. And with that many wings, I normally do about one and a fourth cup of melted butter. And that's how much this is. Um, I did measure it out just so I could be precise because usually I just kind of eyeball it. I'm going to be using my favorite hot sauce here. This is the Louisiana Supreme hot sauce. You can use any hot sauce you like, but we tend to like this one the best. And I'm going to use a splash of white vinegar. So when making my sauce, we don't like ours hot. The more hot sauce you have, of course, the more hotter it's going to be. So that's why the butter helps to tone down, you know, how hot or mild you want it. So when I say eyeballing it, <laughs> that's what I do. I make it eyeballing. I'm going to go ahead and put some in a cup here. Just so I can kind of give you an idea. Alright, this is a half a cup. And I just have to taste it as I go to get it to the heat that I want. Because we like hot sauce, but we don't like it real hot. So you just mix that up in your melted butter. 
and I'm going to taste it. Mm. I have to give it a minute to see if it's going to heat up my lip. All right, let's put another little bit. And like I said, normally I don't measure. I just throw it in and stir it and keep adding until I'm just kind of doing this to show you how much I put in it. Of course, it'll get oranger and oranger as you add the hot sauce. Now I'm going to taste a little bit of it. Give it in a minute. I have to see if it's going to warm up my mouth. I think I could go a little bit more. So I'm adding in another fourth. I put in a half. Then I put in a fourth. And then I just added another fourth. <laughs> yes. Okay, heat wise I think that's perfect. Then I like to take a little splash of the white vinegar. Just a little splash of that because if you put too much then it's going to be strong with vinegar. Alright, it's time for me to get my other wings out. little spoon I bought worked great. <laughs> Alright. Got all of my wings over here. I turned them down a little bit on the second batch so they wouldn't cook too fast before my husband gets here. He'll be home in a few minutes. But um, see how nice and pretty and brown these are? And trust me, I ate one they're nice and crisp on the outside the way we like them and they're really juicy inside really good so just because they're dark brown don't mean they're overdone they, they are perfect and that paprika that I put on them gives them that pretty brown outside crunchy outside that we like then after these strain a few minutes I'll just throw them into my sauce over here and uh, just let them kind of sit it's good if you have a lid then you can like turn them upside down splash them all around but I didn't feel like digging out my pan with my lid so I'll just kind of throw these in and let them sit in here a few minutes and and then stir them around and get them nice and coated I even like to throw in a little bit of parsley in it just to make it look good just to give them a little bit of color After I get them in here and get them worked up. They'll be so good, y'all. So good. Now I'm just putting on some parsley to make them look pretty. mix it up a little bit and then I'll garnish the top when I plate them a little bit with it too. See all that pretty orange and green? 